Hi gang, Nurse Tim here with Nurse Think. I want to talk to you for a moment about how to save time studying for NCLEX by using clinical. Here's what I'm here's what I mean. Anytime you're in the clinical setting, especially that last semester of school, maybe you're a maybe you're a nurse intern, uh, that that job that you have between graduation and passing NCLEX, every day of clinical, I want you to keep what I call a hiccup journal. A hiccup journal essentially is where you observe something that kind of went wrong during that clinical experience. Let me give you an example. Uh, maybe in report, in handoff, you received information that the patient was not alert and oriented. You go in to do your assessment, you find out your patient is perfectly alert and oriented, or maybe it's the other way around. The, the, the nurse reports to you that, that your patient was disoriented, you go in and find out they're A and O times three. Write that down in your journal, okay? Um, now, again, don't violate HIPAA, but, <laughs> but write that down in your journal. Maybe you taught your patient something or, you, or someone else said that they taught your patient about something and you go in and you ask for some information from your patient, you know, tell me what you know about this or demonstrate X, Y, and Z for me. Well, you find out that the patient doesn't really know that. Write that down in your journal. The reason that I say this is because NCLEX is all about safety. And they're going to they're going to to, to create a, an a, an exam experience for you that's gonna it's gonna see whether or not you can pick out where were their hiccups where were their problems in clinical and what do you do about them when you run into them if someone brings the wrong equipment to you or if you observe something that wasn't exactly appropriate maybe an inappropriate transfer what do you say what do you do how do you handle it that sort of thing so that's number one your hiccup journal, your oops journal, whatever you want to call it. Don't violate HIPAA, but take note. Take note, just write it down. What did you see that went wrong? Maybe you did something wrong too, you know, or maybe you had a misunderstanding. Write it down. Number two, after every day of clinical, go back to your Nurse Think notebook and fill out at least one page. And, and, and don't spend more than 10 minutes on this, but just open up your Nurse Think notebook, fill out one page in the notebook, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help you go back and reflect on your prioritization for the day. It's going to help you reflect on, did you, did you truly pick up what was most important to the patient that day? It's going to help you pick up whether or not you were able to put pieces together as far as this concept is related to that concept or this exemplar to that exemplar. It's going to help you take everything that you experienced that day and put it into one nice package so that you can remember what happened. I'm going to leave you with this. NCLEX is all about clinical, so probably the best place to study for NCLEX is in clinical. So make sure that you take that information with you. It's really going to help you save time studying. Save time studying for NCLEX. I'm Nurse Tim with Nurse Think. I hope you'll make it a great day. Bye for now.